Third gear. <laughs> now I got a ride or die. driver's seat of a BMW 335D. Now this generation, a 2015 model, is what I believe to be one of the best all-rounder cars that you can get yourself into. Amazing performance, fantastic MPG, a stunning surrounding. I mean, look at this steering wheel. It's a fantastic place to be in here. But we're gonna get out of this uh, natural habitat, which is an industrial estate, for the BMW diesel car. And we're gonna take this thing down some B road, use it to its full potential, see what this thing is like. But if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But onwards to the B roads. We're interrupting today's video to give a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Yes Auto. Yes Auto is the one-stop shop for buying any car with an experience that's always easy and enjoyable. Navigating onto the website, you can select each brand that you want to look at, each model, and even down to color variant. You can also select through the images as well as looking at brand new cars in 360 degrees inside and out. I myself spend a lot of time just looking at cars for sale. So it's awesome to jump on the Yes Auto website to have a look at cars for sale. You can even do a smart search on new and used cars with an option to select cash price or monthly costs. Their aim is to make car buying easy and enjoyable. Yes Auto are the one-stop shop offering a simple, impartial way to configure and compare new and used cars from almost any manufacturer with a whole load of clever tools and media content for total reassurance. Once again, a huge thank you to Yes Auto for sponsoring today's video. There is a link in the description to the Yes Auto website. Thank you so much again to Yes Auto for sponsoring today's video, but let's get back to the action. on this car straight away. It is a symphony of everything you can want in life. So say you're in your, you know, start of your 30s, I'm 31, mid 30s, 40s say, this is the ultimate car to do everything. And as a car enthusiast, it's hilariously fast. Like not even a joke how fast this thing is. So the first thing we're gonna do as we do in every video is put this in its sportiest settings because although this is a diesel variant, you will not believe the performance in this thing. Over 600 newton meters of torque in this three liter straight six diesel engine is pretty biblical for a three series. Remember, this is a three series chassis. That is amazing power figures considering right now we're doing 35 mpg and i've been really really enjoying myself so we're going to turn off the, the the mundane normal roads we're going to take this thing down the back roads because not only has it got all that power it has x drive which means yes it's a four-wheel drive sort of variant of the bmw but it's sort of not four-wheel drive it's an in the middle of four-wheel drive rear wheel drive front wheel drive it's basically everything but it means it's not rear wheel or solely rear wheel drive that means it constantly puts its power down that's the real key here so in the normality of life third gear <laughs> no slip and we're on you know slightly damp conditions today it was raining you know but a couple of hours ago we're gonna put this in sport mode though so that was in normal mode that's how uh, well this thing drops down as we come to one of my favorite roads ever we're gonna go into sport dynamic traction control 
activated. Right, so, and we'll put it into manual mode by tipping over that gear stick. So, 3,000 RPM in second gear. Speed limit, straight away. This thing covers ground like no diesel I've ever been in. I've been in some performance variants of diesels. None of them have been as blisteringly fast as this. Because of that X drive, I feel that the diesel engine, although it's really low in the rev where the torque comes in, about 1500 RPM, there's no slip. Like you get in an M car, and I'm not pitching this against an M car, but, You could get yourself into some serious mischief in this car because it does not stop. It revs round to about four and a half, five thousand RPM when it really starts dropping off. But at that point, you flip up into the next gear and bang, the torque is there straight away. Now you're a middle-aged guy. A lot of people don't like the idea that I like pitching people's cars against middle-aged drivers. But when you do become 30, you start to realize that Everything isn't swings and roundabouts with petrol cars, rear wheel drive and front wheel drive. You sort of want it all. And this is exactly what this car gives you. Not only does it give you the space, mountains of space in here. It looks really, really cool. I mean, you must admit, a diesel 3 Series never looked so good, did it? The M Sport kit that's on this car, the M Sport wheels, the blue calipers against the grey paint, it looks really really good it looks like a performance version of a diesel car like you put a kit on it after actually buying it from bmw the drive is what we're really here for so now we're down a back road i reckon there's a lot of hot hatches out there that would be put to shame with this car it is actually that good it is hugely impressive it is hugely fast and remember this is from the box this is again fourth gear talk 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 all the way around the rev at what is, you know, there's a good bit of speed, there's a good bit of speed. This is the bit that baffles me when I get into cars like this. This is a factory car with bags of power, hilarious torque figure, MPG that you can get on board with. It's not doing 18 like other cars that I have shot, driven, enjoyed. And we're taking this down one of the roads where I take all of the cars that I drive. And you wouldn't, for a start, know you were in a diesel. The way this thing comes on boost and on song is like any petrol variant that I've recently driven down here. It isn't like a night and day where you feel the difference. And that's just a performance. Middle-aged guys out there, you know the feeling. You know that you, you know, want to put your kids in something safe. You want the desirable MPG figures. You, but you still, as a car enthusiast, want that power. You're chilling kids are dropped off fourth gear on song hilariously fast the the torque is just just unbelievable if you've ever driven one of these x drive 335 d's you'll realize you'll realize that there's a cyclist on a hill right in front of us now that brings me on to another point the brakes are mental that completes the package for me because you could enjoy cards send it down b roads but unless something's got really good brakes on it that's where you'll really enjoy the x drive the braking system we'll come into a corner here we'll drop down in second use those brakes tip it round the corner boot it out the other side absolutely no problems whatsoever from that x drive system it, it is all things to all men this car although it's not as sharp as an m car it's not as poised as an m car that power overrides the idea that this thing <laughs> is as fun as any hot hatch with fantastic mpg figures this is the bit that is so understandable you've got a performance variant of a car with no drawbacks i can't find the drawbacks I actually genuinely can't find any drawbacks for this car. The MPG's right, the pricing's right. You can get one for, you know, really, really good money. It's got air con, heated seat, lovely sound system. This one's got the Harman Kardon upgraded sound system, which again, I say in every car, if you can, definitely go for an upgraded sound system. You have to drive this thing around all the time. This is everything you could ever want. And when you do come into a quaint little town like we are right now, put it into Eco Pro, 
you'll be at 40, 50 MPG before you even know it. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on this BMW 335D, the newer variant? We've driven other variants of the 335D, the newer sort of same generation 140 that I'd recently shot for the channel. And if I'm being very, very honest, there ain't a very big deal between that 140, yes, it's sharper and a little bit more of an M performance car than this one, but this ain't that far behind. And in fact, with that X-Drive system, I feel like you've got a bit more faith in the car because you're not squirreling around trying to put the power down, which I agree is so much fun. But if you don't want that, if you've had cars like that in the past, this will not be disappointing to you. You will be in fits of laughter when it comes on boost. You'll be thankful you're not going to the petrol station every 10 minutes and it looks fantastic. I genuinely think this car looks really, really good in this specification. Not modified whatsoever. Yeah, you can put uh, lower it spacers, wheels, anything you want on these things. Even a remap would take this thing well over what I'm driving today. But as a factory car, this is, this is where it's at. This is the middle ground. And I think if you've had performance cars and you need to calm down a bit in life and you need to sort of get on a little bit and save a bit of money here and there, but you still want something nice, new and exciting to go out in and drive around every day, this is it mate this is the car anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you did like this style of video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more car related content like this and i'll see you all on the next one